Welcome back to the Cozy Realm, and if you are new here, then welcome to the channel. So, this is part 7 of the spirit and the mouse, and we are going to help this guy finally cook his quiche because I think he's been hair drying it for around two or three days now. Because the last time I played this game was a bit of a while ago. So, yeah, let's help this guy eat, and then he can feel better, hopefully. Okay, sneezing, hungry. Bless you. Okay, so. That one is still locked, and I'm not sure how to get to it, but maybe it's around here somewhere. Oh, okay, this might be it. Free falling mouse! <laughs> okay, up we go. I'm pretty sure we're definitely changing colour. I don't remember looking like that before. This might be correct actually because there's a thing here. Yes, okay. Oh, and there's the box. Nice! Alright, uh, there's a way up there as well, so probably the kippins will be there. So after close inspection, there's a label. Turn it on, yes please. So, oh, 30 energy this time. And just two kippins this time as well. Oh, this one's only got one eye. And he hasn't got a bow tie either. I didn't even notice that till now. Okay, so the kidlings are missing. Can we find them? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there's one. Ah, <laughs> that one's cute. Okay, so there's two. Okay, nice. Uh, there's usually one close by and one a tiny bit further, depending. So let's go up there and see. Hey Kiblin, where are you? Okay, not that way. Let's unlock the cable majiggy because that will give us a shortcut this way. And awesome. Oh, there's one right here. He's on the bridge. So is the other one down there? Yeah, he is. I can see him through there. Easy peasy. Hi there, little mouse. What is your business here? Oh, you're helping Kiblins? Then it's my lucky day. Without those components, the Kiblin box cannot power the surrounding buildings properly, and all the humans inside are deprived of electricity. We cannot let those humans down. This is where you and this is where you and I come in. As a professional gatherer, I can find all those parts, but I'll need your help to forage through the trash cans in the neighborhood. The parts are pretty heavy. Do you think you could help me gather them? Okie dokie. Awesome. Awesome, let's go. We have four parts to collect. Let's look around the neighbourhood in trash cans. I sense one nearby. A little friend again, like before, when he was following with the mail. So where are the trash cans? Oh yeah, these ones. I remember. The parts we are looking for should be inside. Let's dive in. <laughs> I'm just waiting outside. Oh, I found it! Can you clean the mess while I get the Kiblin box part out? Just shock them this way. Okay. As long as we're cleaning it all back up, it's all good. Phew! Only three parts left, let's find them. Okay. Now I know what the bins look like, so that's good. They're the wooden type ones. And there's another one over there, sparkling. A sparkly bin. Ah, oh, it stinks. Someone's got to do it, I guess. Here I go. <laughs> right, um, I found it. Okay, I'll put the stuff back in. Oh, I nearly went flying on that one. Can I actually do that? Almost. Woo! <laughs> go flying into there as well. Phew, we need two more. Okay, two more parts. And um, there should be a bin up here, most likely. I don't think I saw any other ones down there, but they're probably hiding. God dang it, I can't get back on there. There we go. Nope, <laughs> there we go. Okay, bins, where are you? Oh wait, one right here. Chupa, chupa, chupa. 
I never understood humans, they throw out a lot of good stuff. Anyway, time to dive in. <laughs> Just trash hunting. Found it. Cool. Where are you going? We can't leave the streets like this. Please clean the trash. Okay, I was trying to. That wasn't going nowhere. Nice. Phew, we only got one more. Okay, one more bin. One more, and it's right there. I'm sure the last part we're looking for is in here. Here I go! Such a peaceful game, just doing random stuff, but helping people. That's cute. So cute. Put all these back in. Finished gathering all the parts, little mouse. Thanks for assisting me with this task. Thanks to our combined efforts, the humans will soon have their electric back. Cool. Feels so amazing to perform such a good deed. I feel even stronger. Too bad the humans don't know we exist. Aww. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, little mouse. I'll go back to the Kiblin box now. See you! Nice! Now, we're gonna go to the other one. You there. Yes, you. Come closer. You're the spirit guardian mouse I've heard so much about. Let me introduce myself. I am Key Dive, the great inventor. I created a diving suit made especially for Kiblins that allows us to swim underwater without risking electrocution. <laughs> now you might be thinking, but Key Dive, why? To which I will reply, why not? Technology does not require a specific need to be made. This is how we achieve greatness. And oh, sorry, I'm rambling again. Truth be told, little mouse, I was going to ask for your help. You must have seen that our Kiblin box is out of service right now. It sustained too much damage during the thunderstorm. Some parts of the Kiblin box landed in the water over there, so I thought, great, now's the time to put my Mark III diving suit to the test. Unfortunately, those metal parts are very hard to grab by hand. I need to build a special tool to hook them, but I need an assistant. My colleague is usually here to help me, but they went to the bridge to find the other missing parts. Little Mouse, would you do the honour of being my assistant for a moment? Yes, of course. Of course, no one would pass up such an amazing opportunity. I'm going to tell you which pieces I need. Please shock them to bring them back to me. Ready? I'm counting on you, little mouse. <laughs> let's begin. Okay, let's start with copper wire. Okay, is that this? Bring me one. Oh, cool. Good, now I need bolts. Bring me one. Okay. Now springs. I need two. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. For a first prototype, it seems sturdy. I'll call it. <laughs> the orpoon. Time to put this monster to the test. Let's jump in. Uh oh. <laughs> Just silent. Oh, okay. They're good. They're good. <laughs> Phew, it worked. Check this catch. Let me put you. Let me put it away. Dang it! The prototype broke, and I saw two other pieces down. The pieces down there. We've got to make a stronger harpoon. I've got an idea. Get ready to send me the materials. Okie dokie. Let's start with metal bars. Okay, that's one. Good, now some cogs. Okay, this one. Springs. One, two, three. And one bolt. Cool. We're almost there. Beautiful. It seems much more robust than the first one. I'll call it. The super orpoon. <laughs> Here I go, watch closely, mouse. <laughs> Wee! The way it just goes silent. <laughs> Phew, that one really was stuck in the mud and hard to grab. You have no idea what kind of stuff lies below. It's pretty scary. Oh, and of course the prototype broke again. Let's do this one more. Let's do this one more time. I spotted the final Kiblin box part underwater. Now it's time to make the strongest orpoon ever made on this planet. Not really, but let's make it real sturdy. The last piece is really stuck. Crafting time, little mouse. Get ready. Okay. Copper wire, bring me three. One, two, and three. 
uh, two cogs, cool, no more, no less. And now metal bars. There you go. Oh, okay, three more copper wires. This will be a strong one. Final touch, two springs, and we are good. Nice. Oh my, this is a masterpiece, the final Orpoon prototype. The Orpoon X, trademark pending. <laughs> that one actually looks really cool. Truly my best work. Let's put it to the test right now. Here I go. That's it! We have all the Kipling box parts. Nice work, little mouse. That was some fine resource handling on your side. I appreciate the help. You helped me refine the Orpoon X and elevate it to the rank of techno technological masterpiece. I have to leave now, but I'll credit you when I show my creation to the Kipling scientists gathering next week. See you soon, Spirit Guardian, and if I ever need help building something, I'll be glad for your assistance. Bye bye! <laughs> Cool. And now we can help this man make his quiche. Cool, he's all patched up. Power's back. I'm saved. Sorry, little hairdryer, but you were no use. We just yeeted it. In the oven you go, little quiche. Quiche, show oh, little quiche. Cook, cook, my little quiche. Quiche, quiche, quiche. I can't wait to gobble you up. <laughs> and he's happy. And that's another person happy. Trophy, the quiche, and the hairdryer. And here's the little heart bubble, which reminds me of the um, little big planet ones with the little stickers and stuff inside of it. So cute! <laughs> so cute! Alright, Lumion? Mouse! That was the last one. Come back to the south square and give your happiness. Trophy at your service. With that, I should be able to go home, at last. I still have enough power to teleport you back to me if you like. Yes, please. Hold on to your whiskers. <laughs> so cute. Little golden whiskers. And there we go, back into the sky. Teleporting. I am back, and we haven't unlocked this one yet. Okay. Well, well, well. I felt the burst of positive energy even from over here. You helped everyone, didn't you? Yes, this is it. The happiness. It must be enough. There's nobody else in this village who needs anything. Alright, mouse. Fork it over. <laughs> so cute. That's a lot. Lots of happiness for you. Yes, this is it. I feel so much better. Finally, I'm my old self again. I can finally leave this awful place. Someone else? You're talking nonsense, Mouse. I have no time for your game. My mission here is done. Spirit Guardian Lumion, going back home. Well, later. Okay, bye bye. And we're still a spirit- Oh no, we're not! Wait, what? <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh gosh, what's going on? Stop, stop. What do you think you're doing? Someone else needs help. What are you speak? What are you squeaking about? Tickets. Let go of me. Okay. Will these humiliations and never s will these humiliations never cease? I'm not sensing anything, and I know you can't. You're being ridiculous. 
This has been a painfully long night and it's time for it to end. There is absolutely positively nobody who... Wait, you're right. But what I sense is different. This is not something we can fix. It's faint, but I can sense it. A lonely soul in need of help. That part of town is outside of our authority, Mouse. There is no Kibben assigned to that area. Time will solve this problem. There's nothing for us to do. You still want to help them? But to get you there, I'd have to give up some of my energy again. No, no, I'm done. No more. You can't fix everyone, Mouse. Just accept it. <laughs> it's angry. Ah, oh, fine. Very well. You win. I'll never understand you. You know these people don't even know you exist, right? What do you get out of it? Never mind. I'll help you. Just don't forget to come back. If you don't replenish this power, I can't go home. I'm going to regret this. I thought he was going to take the power back from the mouse. Oh, that place. Ooh. I was curious about that one since the beginning. That took far more power from me than I anticipated. You better make this work, mouse. Now go check on what's happening in that isolated west residence and come back with some happiness. Try to be quick. I have to leave before the sun rises or else, well, let's say it won't be a pleasant experience. Um, okay, I will try. Can you go in there? Or just a random area? Oh, no, nope, light bulb. <laughs> it wasn't for nothing. Okay, so I will leave it here for today. Next time we will check out the West Resident, which I think might be the final one now. And someone there needs help, but there's no Kiblins. So I'm quite interested or I'm quite intrigued to see what's in there or who's in there. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you may be. And I will see you next time in part eight, I think. Yeah, part eight of The Spirit and the Mouse. 